think that if you're a true Christian, you don't consider Christianity just a part of your life. It is your life. And if you follow the teachings of the Bible, specifically uh, Mark 16, 15, which says, go out into the world and preach the good news to all creation, then uh, you have an obligation to share that faith with others. If you saw a building on fire and you knew there were people in it, and you knew that you were capable of running in there and saving someone who wouldn't be able to help themselves, if you knew that you could help them, would you just stand there and do nothing? And unfortunately, by not clearly seeing the issue, I think that's what a lot of Christians do, is they just stand there. I think, by and large, most of it is that most Christians are not really well educated as to their own religion's position on various issues. They consider worshiping Jesus to be part of their lives, but not their primary purpose. And I believe that true Christianity considers it to be the primary purpose. And if you're a true Christian, you believe that those who are not Christians, those who have not followed the teachings of the Bible, uh, that have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior, those people aren't going to heaven. They're going to hell. Hell's not a fun place. I have heard Christians, definitely, uh, that have the view that everyone is entitled to their own belief. And that's not nece necessarily a bad position to have, but if you believe that what they believe is going to earn them a place in eternal suffering, then there's a problem with that, in that you're allowing them to be tortured for eternity, while at the same time believing that you shouldn't save them from that. It's, it's very awkward. If you really believe that uh, people who are not Christians are going to hell, then that is a, a very serious consequence. And if you don't take that seriously, I think that you might be compromising your own belief system. Those who do take their faith seriously, they need to encourage or teach those who might not how important that is. Sometimes I think Christians are afraid of being labeled as a Bible thumper or uh, to have uh, negative connotations associated with them. But that's not necessarily negative if you're a Christian. I think it's something to be proud of. There's nothing to be ashamed of if you're a Christian about the Bible or being a Bible thumper. It's something to be proud of. It's something that you take seriously. And it's something that you should encourage others to take seriously as well. And it might require you to challenge yourself to, you know, stand up in front of crowds, to talk to people that you don't know. Missionaries work in places uh, where the predominant religion is not Christianity. And that's a completely different scenario uh, than, you know, in most parts of the United States. But they, they take it in stride, they accept it, and they move on. You shouldn't take rejection personally, but consider it uh, that you gave them a fighting chance. You give them a fighting chance at heaven, uh, even, if, even if you do have to uh, risk offending someone or risk a friendship. Uh, it's a simple matter of weighing priorities. If I were a Christian, of course, I would take the Bible seriously. I respect people who take their beliefs seriously. And I would take the Bible's teachings seriously. Among those teachings is the idea that there is a heaven and there is a hell. And those that accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior go to heaven. Those that don't go to hell. And the implications of that are very far reaching. And you're an atheist? Yes, I sure am.